higher. I'm going to look at the lesson five in the differentiation two pack, which is all about parametrics. Parametrics are quite nice because not everything can be modelled with an easy equation like y equals x squared. So sometimes you need equations for each direction. Now we only work in 2D, so if you look there's an x here and a y there. But in reality, say you wanted to do aeronautical engineering, you might have six different equations for the three directions of travel, like the axes, but then also how it can do pitch and roll and yaw. All these equations are linked by t for time or maybe even theta for the angle. So if you're doing a roller coaster, it might be the angle of it that it's at that you're interested in. So all right, let's have a look at these questions then. Okay, so it mentions about the parameter here. So that's your t in most cases. Um, right, so it says, does 2 comma 5 or 3 comma minus 3 lie on the curve? Now if it lies on the curve, it'll have the same t value. So if I find for this point here, for 2 comma 5, if I find t for x is 2, right, let's have a look. So 2 is 3 minus t over 1 plus t. Take that up, 2 lots of 1 plus t is 3 minus t. Right then, so I've got 2 plus 2t is 3 minus t. Doing a bit of rearranging, take the t over there and the 2 that way, gives me 3t is 1, so t is a third. Now then, if the point 2 comma 5 lies on that line, on that curve, then if I put t is 3 into y, so sub t is 3, uh, sorry, t is a third into y, then that should give me 5. So let's have a look. So y is a third squared plus two lots of a third minus 3. So I've got like a, a ninth, add two thirds, take 3. So you can stick it in your calculator, but you know straight from the off it's not going to equal 5. Uh, right, so, not equal to 5. Oops, therefore not on curve. Alright. Can you do similar for the next point? So will you find t when x is 3, and then sub that, that t value, sub into, oops, sub into y equals, and it should work, that one. Because you've got one that doesn't, so it makes sense to have one that does. Right, let's have a look then at the next one. So sticking with the same equations, it says where does the curve cross the coordinate axes? Right, so it crosses the x-axis when y is 0. Right. So let's put the equation equal to 0 then. So I've got 0 is equal to t squared plus 2t minus 3. If I put that into polynomial, I get t is 1 or t is minus 3. Right, now then, I need the x value that goes with it. So now I'm going to sub into x equals. So for t is 1, uh, x would be 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2, so x is 1. There, so I've got a coordinate of 1, 0. When t is minus 3, x would be 3 minus a minus 3, so that's 6, over 1 minus 3 is minus 2, so that's minus 3. So I've got two sets of coordinates. For when y is 0, I've got 1, comma 0. I've got minus 3, comma 0. Right now then, let's have a look where it crosses the y-axis. 
So that's when x is zero. So when x is zero, oops, keep my colour the same. For x is zero, if I take the bottom line up, I've got nothing times one plus t, so that's nothing. Take the t over, t is three. Right, so let's sub in into y equals this time. So for t is three, I've got three squared is nine plus two t is six minus three. So I've got twelve. There. So that coordinate is zero, comma, twelve. Be careful with your x is a zero and y is zero, because it's very easy just to write them the wrong way around. Alright, let's have a look. So I've done the first two examples, so that's just finding points on the curves. So that's okay. Right, now then. Some equations you can rearrange and get nice looking equations for. Some you can't. If it asks you to, it's going to ask for a Cartesian equation. So the easiest way is just to rearrange and sub in. So I'm going to rearrange this one for t equals. So I'm just going to, as a plan, I'm going to rearrange and I'm going to sub in there. Right, so I want t equals for that. So t is going to be, if I add on the 1, and then I divide by 3, and that gives us t. I'm going to sub that in. So I've got y is, so t is x add 1 over 3. It's going to be squared, isn't it? You can't see the squared, but I assume it is squared. Oh no, it says cubed. Oof. There. Plus 5 lots of x add 1 over 3 minus 13. If the equation didn't ask you to, don't bother expanding it. Just leave it as it is. There. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Now this one's interesting. It's the same idea. I plan to, to rearrange, <laughs> rearrange and I need to sub in. But if you look, it's a bit cheeky, but these two are the same. So if I rearrange for 1 over t, so if I change this one, if I take the 1 over t over to the left, and then take the x over, that's 1 minus x. There. Now then, if I sub that into the equation, I've got y equals 1 plus, instead of 1 over t, I've now got 1 minus x. There. Just really put that in a different colour so it stands out, shouldn't I? 1 minus x. There you go. If I expand the bracket, I've got y equals 2 minus x. It asked me to sketch the curve, so I know 2 minus x would look like that. Job, job. You've got your calc, haven't you, to do it if you wanted to. There. Okay. Right then. The next one, I think, so many examples I've got left. I've got two examples left, so I'm going to stop there and I'll do it in a second one so we're not rushing.